Inline pumps, pump, also known as a close-coupled pump, is designed to have a compact and space-saving configuration. It operates by drawing fluid in through an inlet and discharging it through an outlet in a single straight line. Inline pumps are typically used for low to medium flow rates. To medium flow rates. Types of inline pumps. Two classifications of inline pumps, horizontal and vertical. This classification refers to the orientation of the pump's shaft. Typically, horizontal inline pumps operate best in low pressure and mild temperature conditions. They are easy to install, repair, and maintain. 1. Horizontal inline centrifugal pumps. Horizontal inline pump is a single-stage single-section horizontal direct-connected centrifugal pump. It is suitable for industry and urban water supply and drainage system, irrigation, booster, ballasting, garden, long-distant water supply, firefighting, water circulating system, refrigeration, central heating, bathroom or transferring the physical and chemical feature like water. The temperature is lower than 105 degrees Celsius. 2. Vertical Inline Centrifugal Pumps Vertical inline pumps are pumps where the inlet and outlet are in line. This arrangement is typically used where space is limited, such as on board a ship. The pump has a vertical drive shaft and can be fitted with a priming pump to enable the pump to be self-priming. Vertical inline pumps can be made to various designs which include spacer couplings to enable maintenance to be carried out without removal of motors, reducing downtime. Vertical inline pumps are commonly used for chilled water and hot water circulation in commercial buildings. The pumps are widely used in homes and commercial building hydronic heating systems, domestic hot water circulating systems, and HVAC chilled slash heated water system, and suction pumps versus difference. And suction pumps are centrifugal pumps consisting of an axial inlet for suction. The pump discharges the fluid at 90 degrees to the suction. Due to their simplicity, end suction pumps are the most common centrifugal pumps used in most applications. The inlet and outlet points in the inline pumps are along the same axis. This construction enables the pump to direct the flow of water in the same line as that of the inlet, hence the name inline, hence the name inline. End suction pumps for construction. End suction pumps feature a traditional construction where the shaft is in a horizontal position. This shaft rotates the impeller, sucking in the water and pushing it out at 90 degrees to the inlet under pressure. End suction pumps are also called horizontal pumps as their shaft is placed horizontally to the surface. Inline pumps have an overhang vertical shaft and radial split case design. This type of construction allows inline pumps to take up much less space than end suction pumps. Due to the orientation of the shaft inline pumps are also known as vertical pumps. Pumps. End suction pumps versus and cons and suction pumps pros and cons pros low cost. Easy to install. Low maintenance and easy to repair. Availability of multiple nozzle configurations. Cons performance degradation occurs when NPSH, R, NPSH, A. Performance degrades with an increase in pressure and temperature bigger footprint. Inline pumps pros and cons pro smaller footprint. Lower vibration. One of the best choices for areas with limited accessibility. Works much better with higher temperature and pressure. Cons. Repair and maintenance is comparatively difficult. The vertical shaft design can cause balance issues if not properly installed. To repair the mechanical seal, the motor must be separated from the volute. End suction pumps for applications. End suction pumps are one of the most common pumps that you will see in commercial and residential applications. In the residential sector, end suction pumps are used to pump water from a water source to a tank or another artificial reservoir. These pumps are available in a variety of materials and are also cost effective. Since these pumps can be manufactured using different materials, they are also useful in industrial applications such as pumping corrosive and non-corrosive chemicals. Moreover, the performance of end suction pumps is not affected by the presence of small solid particles in the fluid. Hence, you will find that most sewage or wastewater pumps are end suction pumps. Inline pumps are smaller than end suction pumps and they require less space. 
they are commonly used as booster pumps in industries. Due to their construction, inline pumps can be fitted as valves on pipes to increase the overall pressure at different points in the large processing pipes. Unlike end suction pumps, inline pumps are not limited by pressure and temperature. These pumps can handle high temperature and high pressure environments. Due to these capabilities, inline pumps are mostly employed in industries and thermal plants. End suction pumps versus performance characteristics. 1. End suction pumps. Flow rate, end suction pumps are better suited for high flow rate applications. Head and pressure, end suction pumps are capable of handling higher head and pressure requirements compared to inline pumps. Efficiency, while end suction pumps may experience reduced efficiency in such scenarios. 2. Inline pumps. Flow rate, while inline pumps are more suitable for moderate flow rates. Head and pressure, inline pumps lower head and pressure. Efficiency, inline pumps tend to exhibit higher efficiency at lower flow rates. Rates. End suction pumps for ventilation and space requirements. End suction pumps typically require more space due to their horizontal configuration and the need for additional components like couplings. On the other hand, inline pumps have a compact design, requiring less floor space and simplified installation. End suction pumps versus inline pumps, maintenance and accessibility. Both end suction and inline pumps offer ease of maintenance, but their accessibility may differ. End suction pumps may require more effort to access internal components due to their larger size, while inline pumps provide better access due to their compact design. Design. End suction pumps versus considerations. End suction pumps are generally more cost effective upfront, as they are often less expensive and readily available in various sizes and configurations. Inline pumps may have a higher initial cost due to their integrated motor and compact design. End suction pumps versus inline pumps, selection factors based on application requirements. The selection between end suction and inline pumps ultimately depends on the specific application requirements. Factors to consider include flow rate, head and pressure requirements, available space, installation constraints, maintenance accessibility, efficiency expectations, and budget considerations. Consulting with pump experts and considering the long-term operational costs can aid in making the most suitable choice. Conclusion In suction pumps and inline pumps requires careful consideration of various factors. End suction pumps excel in high flow rate applications, offer simplicity and versatility, but have limitations in terms of head capabilities and efficiency at lower flow rates. Inline pumps, on the other hand, are compact, space efficient, and offer high efficiency at lower flow rates, but may have limitations in handling high pressures. By evaluating the specific requirements of your application and considering the advantages and limitations of each pump type, you can make an informed decision that ensures optimal performance and cost effectiveness. Seeking guidance from pump experts is recommended to select the most suitable pump for your specific needs. needs.